from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference, brought to you by Girls in Tech. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at the Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference 2018. About 700 people, two day conference, single track, really a lot of stories about people's journey, senior executive women, how they got to where they were, and advice for kind of younger, uh, getting started execs and mid-tier execs. Mainly women, a busload of kids they just brought in, and a couple of men, so we're excited to have one of the men. He just got off the stage, is Charlie Bell, Senior Vice President from AWS. Charlie, welcome. Oh, thanks for having me here. So you just, you just uh, participated in a really interesting um, event. You were interviewed by your recently graduated daughter. Yes. Who's entering the tech field. Yes. So what did she ask you? What is, it's just interesting to get her perspective. Just graduated from Carnegie Mellon, I think you said. Yeah. And is getting ready to start her first job at LinkedIn. What is she thinking now? Actually she, into it. Excuse me, into it. As she's looking forward at the beginning of this, this journey. Yeah, I mean, she was asking me the kind of questions that you know anyone who's getting started or earlier in their career might ask. Uh, it, was, it was questions like, how did you uh, decide when you were going to change jobs? You know, what, uh, uh, what advice could, could, would you give to somebody you know, who wants to be a leader? Uh, how do you recognize leaders? Uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty interesting. Uh, Caroline is uh, really smart, uh, curious, uh, very similar probably to most of the kids graduating and many of the folks early in their career. And, and so I thought a lot of her questions uh, probably relevant to almost anybody. Right, well I like that she's already, she's going to start her first job in a couple of weeks and she's already asking the leadership questions. So yeah. clearly yeah, no, uh, you got to be a proud dad for that. She's ready to I am very you know, proud start moving her. up moving up the line. Yeah. yeah and, and I'm curious, was she interested in um, STEM subjects before college or? or yeah, yeah well, she obviously she went to Carnegie Mellon, so you wouldn't go there if you did have an interest. Yeah, she no, she was always interested in math. So uh, she, she studied math, uh, you know, it was her best subject in high school. And um, she did a few science fair projects uh, when she, she went to Carnegie Mellon and, as a math major. But as she, actually, as so many, you know, much of the subject here is about the crooked path we right, take. Right. Um, and we've all had those. And as she got to college, she realized, well, math actually wasn't the thing she wanted to do. And then she thought, well, what I really, I really love the statistics part of it. And then she realized, well, wait a minute, there's this whole new thing, machine learning, where you, where you can take this knowledge of statistics and apply it to uh, programming and computers and everything else. And she got very excited about it. And I got to tell you, there's no happier moment in a parent's life when, than when your child says they're going to study machine learning. You know they will eat the rest of their life. <laughs> that, that's very true. But it's also even more important, where I thought you were going to say, is when your kid finds something that they're really passionate of about, course. And whether it's machine learning or whatever. I mean, that's, uh, you know, I've got three at home myself, so it's so fun when they, they find the thing that draws them in. So yeah. I'm curious, have you been to any of these events before? No, I haven't been to any of these. Uh, actually, Sandy Carter, uh, one of our vice presidents, uh, suggested you know a talk here would be uh, interesting, and right. with Caroline interviewing would be super interesting. And right. um, I actually don't get out that much. You, you know, you haven't talked to me ever. Uh, I I'm in the engineering side. I, I I live inside the halls and we build stuff and uh, don't don't usually get out and talk yeah. to people. So. so love just to get your impression of the event in general, but also some of the sessions in terms of what was going on this morning. Oh, I that was awesome. You know, uh, Amy's talk. Uh, you know, I resonated with a lot of that. I, I thought her advice on, um, you know, some of the uh, tips, you know, for the folks in the room was, was spot on. Um, you know, many of them are, we have this thing in Amazon we call leadership principles. Many of them were just totally aligned with the Amazon leadership principles, the way right. we think. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, these talks have been uh, both uh, interesting uh, and uh, inspiring. Yeah, so much talk about culture, and it's funny you talked about the leadership principles, and you know we're a huge Andy Jassy fan. We've had him on a lot, uh, but I think one of my favorite times is he sat down on a fireside chat, some at San Francisco a couple of years ago, and, and really exposed to the to the audience some of the philosophies that operate behind Amazon and how people make decisions. And I think you brought it up here that it's okay to change your mind if you're a leader when you get new data. And his whole thing yeah. about the PowerPoint and the six page narrative and you know, the way you guys execute and, and clearly it's such a, a well oiled machine in terms of the way, especially at AWS, you guys just keep rolling and rolling and rolling out new features, features, features. A lot of great lessons I think 
in that Amazon culture, but here, that's all we keep hearing about is culture, 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 culture. Mm -hmm. So you're living it every day. Yeah. Well, it's a gift that keeps on giving. I mean, if the company has a good culture, uh, it's how everybody that comes in, how everybody pulls at the same oars, um, and uh, it's, it's, it's really the fabric of, of, of a long-term business. You know, Andy said it many times, we all want a business that outlasts us. Um, and the, the way you create that is through culture. Right, right. And just in, in the maniacal focus on customer, which I think is such a, a unique AWS trait and Amazon trait, and, and I think that's what I, my favorite part about the new grocery store in Seattle is the fact that you know, it was optimizing a process that nobody in the grocery store business probably ever really thought about very much, was mm -hmm. I don't like to stand in line. Right. So to come at it really from a customer perspective as opposed to a product perspective or a competitive, uh, perspective really I think is a big piece of the engine that is keep AWS yep. just rolling along. Yep, working from the customer backwards, it's the only way to live. Yeah, with the, the, with the press release before you make the new product and it just mm -hmm. goes on and on and on. Yeah. All right, so Charlie, give you the last word before we let you go. Um, what are you working on? What's exciting? What should people uh, be keeping an eye out for as you're Oh wow! Whistle well, away in the in the in the, in the halls not coming out. What yeah. what can we? Uh, what are some yeah. priorities for the balance of 2018? Well, we still as much as we've done so far, we still got a lot coming in machine learning uh, and uh, across the board. I mean, you know, the, the, for me, the exciting thing at AWS is uh, our customer. We have such a broad set of customers right now with so many different needs that we hear so many new things and it just inspires us to do brand new businesses and brand new services. And so uh, there's just a, a lot of areas, analytics, uh, compute, storage, everything else, like, you know, there's a lot coming. So yeah. reInvent should be every bit as exciting as it was last year. <laughs> they just got to find more space for you. Vegas got to get a little bit bigger. Yeah. And we'll be in DC next week for, uh, for Summit Public Sector awesome. with Teresa Carlson and the crew also puts on a great event. Oh, Teresa's so much fun. All right, well, thanks for taking a few minutes of your day. We really appreciate it. And, and congrats to your daughter. Oh, thank you. All yes. right, all right, thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Frick. We are at Girls in Tech Catalyst. Thanks for watching. <laughs>